So what is the value of x given that you have 5 to the power of x minus 2 equals 24? Then record that when we have a to the power of m minus n equals as a to the power of m divided by a to the power of n. So from here we have 5 to the power of x divided by 5 to the power of 2 equals 24. But this divided by 1, when you cross multiply, 5 to the power of x times 1 will be 5 to the power of x equals this. 5 to the power of 2 times 24. We have 5 to the power of x equals 5 times 5 times 24. We have here to be 5 to the power of x, 5 times this, 5 times this will be equals 0. We take 2. 5 times this is 10. We have this to be 120. Let's introduce log to both sides. We have log 5 to the power of x equals log open parenthesis 5 times 120 in parenthesis. When we have log a to the power of m, the power m will come down to base to be m multiplied by log a. Then here will be x times log 5 equals log 5 times 12 times 120, sorry. So dividing through by this log 5, this will cancel out this. So we have x to be log 5 times 120 over log 5. Then let us recall that we have log a times b in parenthesis. This will be log a plus log b. From here, we have x to be log 5 plus log 120 over log 5. When we have a plus b again, divided by c, such that a, b, c are constants, we can have here to be a divided by c plus b divided by c. So here will be x equals log 5 over log 5, this, plus log 120 over log 5. This will be x equals this, divided by this will be 1, plus log 120 over log 5. But we can also have 120 to be equals 5 times 24. So here will be x1 plus log 5 times 24 over log 5. So here will be x equals 1 plus log 5 plus log 24 over 5. So this will be x 1 plus log 5 over log 5 plus log 24 over log 5. So from here, x will be 1. This divided by this will also be 1 plus log 24 
over log 5. So we have x to be 1 plus 1 will be 2 plus log 24 over log 5. Mind you, we can also have 24 to be 8 times 3. x2 plus log 8 times 3 over log 5. x will be 2 plus log 8 plus log 3 over log 5 x 2 this divided by this log 8 over log 5 plus log 3 over log 5 you call when we have log a over log b equals log a in base b. So from here we have x 2 plus log 8 in base 5 plus log 3 in base 5. So this is the final answer for the value of x. Then to check, we have 5 to the power of x minus 2 equals 24. But let's equal this. We have 5 to the power of 2 plus log 8 in base 5 plus log 3 in base 5 minus 2. Then it's going to be equals 24. Mind you, this we cancel out this. We have 5 to the power of log 8 in base 5 plus log 3 in base 5. It's going to be equals 24. When we have 8 to the power of m, plus n, this will be equals a to the power of m multiplied by a to the power of n. So from here will be 5 to the power of log 8 in base 5 multiplied by 5 to the power of log 3 in base 5. Then it's going to be equals 24. When we have a to the power of log b in base a, this and this are the same. The output will be 1. Meaning when we have 2 to the power of log 3 in base 2, this will be 3. This, this is the same. From here, this, this is the same. Here will be 8 times. This, this is the same. Here will be 3. Which equals 24. So 24 equals 24. Since the left hand side equals to the right hand side, this implies that... The value of x here is correct. If you are new and you find this video interesting, don't forget to share, like, comment, and subscribe to our YouTube channel for more mass tutorial videos. Bye bye!